Good afternoon. I'm Mike Peterson with the latest from the King of A newsroom on this Tuesday afternoon. Firefighters battled a residential fire in Shenandoah last night. Shenandoah Fire and Rescue responding to the fire at a garage at 504 South Elm Street at around 8.50 p.m. Shenandoah Fire Chief Justin Marshall told us flames were visible from the structure upon arrival. Marshall says the fire spread into some adjoining houses. Marshall says the property suffered significant damage. The chief credits a strong turnout and response by his department's volunteers with preventing further damage. Efforts to fill various openings in the Shenandoah School District continue. Meeting in special session late yesterday afternoon, the Shenandoah School Board approved the contracts of Kimberly Bjorkland as kindergarten teacher, Heather Burson as preschool teacher, Jordan Lembrick as high school basketball cheerleading coach, and Amanda Wooten as middle school science teacher, all for the 2023-24 school year. At least one major road project is on the docket in Montgomery County for fiscal 2024. Montgomery County Engineer Karen Albert told the county's Board of Supervisors this morning that planning continues for the county's fiscal 2024 construction projects. Albert says one project targeted is on H34 east of Red Oak. She has the project would be led in phases in order to avoid uh, higher costs. As Memorial Day approaches, a local Veterans Affairs official is urging KMA land residents to remember its true meaning. In Shenandoah, traditional Memorial Day activities begin Monday at 10 a.m. with the parade from the Old Armory up Sheridan Avenue to the Rose Hill Cemetery, where ceremonies take place at the Tomb of the Unknowns at 10.30. Similar Memorial Day observances take place at 10 a.m. at the Clarinda Cemetery and 11 a.m. at the Essex Cemetery. Janet Olson is Executive Director of Page County Veterans Affairs. She talked about the meaning of Memorial Day on KMA's Morning Line program this morning. KMA on track weather, mostly sunny this afternoon. Noon highs in the lower 80s, looking at partly cloudy tonight with lows in the mid 50s. Another nice one tomorrow, sunny with highs in the mid 80s. More news at 5.05 and 6.05 and online at kmaland.com. Have yourself a good rest of your Tuesday. Mike Peterson, so long, my friend.